Hi, Doug Stimmel with IT Creations with another server review. This week we're going to take a look at HPE's new Integrity MC990X server. The Integrity MC line represents the top spot of HPE's server lines, which feature products from the single socket microserver to the BL high density blade chassis. MC stands for mission critical and these platforms are designed to address big data quandaries, data intensive applications, and analysis with faster in-memory processing. If you scale large and run data-centric workloads on SAP HANA, Oracle, or other database applications, this system is for you. And it can do it without breaking into seven figures. By the way, IT Creation sells all the systems we review, including the HPE Integrity MC990 and a range of other HPE servers, workstations, and components. Click this link to visit IT Creations. The MC990X is not your typical server and is composed of two chassis with an attached rack management controller. The MC990X features up to eight Intel Xeon E7 8800V4 processors and can be equipped with up to 12 terabytes of error correcting DDR4 RAM, placing it somewhere between HPE's DL580 Gen 9 rack server with four processors and six terabytes of memory, and HPE's Integrity Superdome X server that incorporates up to 16 processors and 24 terabytes of memory. To describe this platform in more detail, I've asked our lead analyst to answer some of these questions. I'll take a shot at those questions. Let's start with that first question. What does this system do that's different from a typical server? The primary criteria for the design of the MX99X is its ability to present a very large amount of system memory in a single memory space, which is required for modern in-memory database applications. Why is this important, you ask? The Lowly database provides the means to store, relate, and retrieve information that makes the internet possible. Consequently, database design and architecture has been evolving to support ever-increasing data set sizes, the demand on their ability to serve a continuously growing number of simultaneous requests, and the increasing need for faster response. So how does this system solve these problems? Technologies such as faster disk drives, SSDs, and improving software efficiency have only enhanced database performance capabilities so much, but the best path to database performance is low latency. The closer data resides to the CPU, the faster it can be referenced and the more of a database that resides in RAM, the faster it performs. What kind of applications require this kind of processing speed? Facial recognition, fraud prevention, and electric grid management are just a small sampling of real-time applications that simply cannot wait on bottlenecks. The real-time implications on such delays demanded a new type of in-memory database architecture, which led to the development of in-memory database solutions, such as SAP HANA and Oracle Exolytics Relational Database Management Systems. These solutions require a very large pool of available memory. Uh, thanks for that explanation. The MC990X was designed in partnership with Silicon Graphics, which was acquired by HPE in November of 2016, opening the door to combining HPE's mission-critical portfolio with SGI's emphasis on in-memory, high-performance data analytics technology. Silicon Graphics' UV platform features advanced symmetric multiprocessing technology and uses a proprietary Numalink interconnect technology to enable rapid scale-out. These technologies create a single system that physically reside on two separate chassis. The real magic that makes it possible to connect two sets of four socket systems and their memory is SGI's HARP ASIC. Each base and expansion chassis have two SGI HARP ASICs, each with two QPI channels that connect to two of the four processors within the chassis. Each base and expansion unit features a bulkhead with 28 Numalink ports that connect the expansion unit to the base unit. Each Numalink port provides a bi-directional bandwidth communication rate of 7.47 gigabytes per second. To mitigate off-chip memory latency, SGI designed a NUMA extension called CC NUMA that caches memory and provides cache coherency. The end result is a very efficient multi-socket architecture. The hardware includes a base unit, an expansion unit, and a rack management controller. Internal storage on this system is pretty minimal and resides in the base chassis. There are four 2.5-inch slots for SAS, HDDs, or SSDs, and two optional 1.8-inch solid-state drives that can be used for the boot device. A typical deployment of this system includes a storage area network or distributed mass storage solution. There are 20 PCIe Gen 3.0 slots total, 8 3.0 x 16 slots in the base chassis, and 12 3.0 x 8 slots in the expansion chassis. The generous allotment of PCIe slots allows administrators to configure the system to support their unique business requirements. Each base and expansion chassis contains four hot swap power supplies and four hot swap fan assemblies. Centralized management is provided by the rack management controller. The system control network helps to manage the system from a local or remote console and is composed of the rack management controller and the chassis board level base management controllers. Accessing the system control network is done by either a LAN connection or by connecting a workstation laptop or server via a USB port to the micro USB serial connection. Both ports are located on the front of the RMC. Starting the system can take up to 10 minutes depending on the size your network and can be done through the command line interface. The RMC sends operational requests to the BMC on each compute memory motherboard installed. Both are active whenever the 
system is powered on and are not dependent on the OS or operational status. Each MC990X system's RMC can power up individual MC990X server chassis, individual racks of MC990X servers, or the entire system. It features an internal 24-point Ethernet switch and can control up to 16 MC990X server chassis via a 1-gig Ethernet port. The RMC also monitors the environmental state of the system, including voltage levels, status LEDs, and access to the system OS console to run diagnostics, boot the system, address system BIOS, and initiate system resets. It also stores identification and configuration information. For increased resiliency, the RMC can be connected to a second RMC using the stack connector. The optional mass storage enclosures have their own management system for monitoring and controlling the storage devices and are not monitored by the system control network. The MC990X features HPE's foundation software. Foundation software helps with the fine tuning the system and with troubleshooting. FS provides automatic boot time optimization, reliability features, and technical support tools for high performance computing. The tools maximize performance and availability of the MC990X servers. Many of the utilities and tools run in the background automatically, but a few require configuration information from the administrator. FS tracks main memory health, monitors system performance, and enables CPU scaling to take advantage of Intel Turbo Boost technology. LEDs help administrators identify potential problems on the system and are located on the power supplies and motherboard. Just about everything on the system has a redundant failsafe to increase availability and reliability. Scale-up servers like the MC990X are used for very specific applications like banking, finance, and transportation. These types of applications need solutions fast and the MC990 will get you there without dipping into seven figures. We hope you enjoyed our review of HPE's Integrity MC990X server. If you have any questions about this server or any others, post a question in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Doug Stuman, and thanks for watching.